So, I'm going to talk to you about some things I've learned in my journey. Most from experience, some of them I heard in passing, many of them I'm still practicing, but all of them I do believe are true. Life's not easy. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. Unbelievable is the stupidest word in the dictionary. Should never come out of our mouths. Think about it. To say, oh wow, what an unbelievable play. An unbelievable act of courage. Really? It, it may be spectacular, it may be phenomenal, most excellent or outstanding. But unbelievable? Uh-uh. Give others and yourself more credit. So acknowledge the acts of greatness as real. And do not be naive about mankind's capacity for evil nor be in denial of our own shortcomings. Happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if-then, cause and effect standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. You see, happiness, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result-reliant. And I say, if happiness is what you're after, then you're going to be let down frequently and you're going to be unhappy much of your time. Joy, though. Joy is a different thing. It's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do, no matter the outcome. The daily making of the movie, the doing of the deed, became the reward in itself for me. I got more box office, more accolades and respect than I ever had before. See, joy is always in process. It's under construction. It is in constant approach, alive and well in the doing of what we're fashioned to do and enjoying. Define success for yourself. So the question that we've got to ask ourselves is what success is to us, what success is to you. Is it more money? That's fine. i got nothing against money. Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time and that's fine. But do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize your soul. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. Be brave, take the hill, but first answer that question, what's my hill? So first, we have to define success for ourselves. And then we have to put in the work to maintain it. Take that daily tally. Tend our garden. Keep the things that are important to us in good shape. Process of elimination <laughs> is the first step to our identity. Where you are not is as important as where you are. It is just as important where we are not as it is where we are. Look, the first step that leads to our identity in life is usually not, I know who I am, I know who I am. That's not the first step. The first step's usually, I know who I am not. Process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. You know that group of friends that you hang out with that, that it really might not bring out the best in you? You know, they, they gossip too much or they're kind of shady. They really aren't going to be there for you in a pinch. Or how about that bar that we keep going to that we always seem to have the worst hangover from? 
or that computer screen, right? That computer screen that keeps giving us an excuse not to get out of the house and engage with the world and get some real human interaction. Or how about that food that we keep eating, the stuff that tastes so good going down, it makes us feel like crap the next week, we feel lethargic and we keep putting on weight? Well, those people, those places, those things, stop giving them your time and energy. Just don't go there. I mean, put them down. And when you do this, when you do put them down, when you quit going there, when you quit giving them your time, you inadvertently find yourself spending more time and in more places that are healthy for you, that bring you more joy. Why? Because you just eliminated the who's, the where's, the what's, and the when's that were keeping you from your identity. Like, trust me, too many options, <laughs> I promise you, that too many options will make a tyrant of us all. All right, so get rid of the excess, the wasted time. Decrease your options. And if you do this, you will have accidentally, almost innocently, put in front of you what is important to you. Instead of creating outcomes that take from us, let's create more outcomes that pay us back, fill us up, keep your fire lit, turn you on for the most amount of time in your future. These are the choices I'm talking about. Do yourself a favor, make the choices, the purchases today that pay you back tomorrow. You, customize your future. Dissect your successes. We so often focus on failure, don't we? Failure, we dissect failure and our failures dissect them so much we end up intoxicated with them to the point of disillusion. I find that most of the times our obsession with what is wrong just ends up breeding more wrong, more failure. Now, the easiest way to dissect success is through gratitude. Giving thanks for that which we do have, for what is working, appreciating the simple things we sometimes take for granted. We give thanks for these things and that gratitude Reciprocate, creating more to be thankful for. It's really simple and it works. Now I'm not saying be in denial of your failures. No, we can learn from them too, but only if we look at them constructively as a means to reveal what we are good at, what we can get better at, what we do succeed at. We try our best, we don't always do our best. Well, architecture, is a verb as well. Yes, it is. And since we are the architects of our own lives, let's study the habits, the practices, the routines that we have that lead to and feed our success, our joy, our honest pain, our laughter, our earned tears. Let's dissect that and give thanks for those things. And when we do that, guess what happens? We get better at them. And we have more to dissect. Turn the page. I have never had any trouble turning the page in the book of my life. Look, we're gonna make mistakes. You gotta own them. Then you gotta make amends. And then you gotta move on. Guilt and regret kills many a man before their time. So turn the page, get off the ride, you are the author of the book of your life. Turn that page. Give your obstacles credit. I, I think fear is a good thing. Now why? Because it increases our need to overcome that fear. All right, so say your obstacle is fear of rejection. Well, instead of denying those fears, declare them. Say the fear out loud, admit it, give them the credit they deserve. Don't get all macho and act like they're no big deal. And don't get paralyzed by denying that they exist and therefore abandoning your need to overcome them. I mean, I'd even subscribe to the belief that we're all destined to have to do the thing that we fear the most anyway, at some point. So give your obstacles credit and you will one, find the courage to overcome them, or you will two, see more clearly that they're not really worth prevailing over. 
to be brave, have courage, and when you do, you get stronger, you get more aware, you get more respectful of yourself and that which you fear. To make it a place where we break a sweat, where we believe, where we enjoy the process of succeeding in the places and ways that we are fashioned to, where we don't have to look over our shoulder because we're too busy doing what we're good at, traveling towards immortal finish lines. We write our own book, overcoming our fears. We make friends with ourselves. And that is the place that I'm talking about.